Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recently ordered something from HelloFresh and I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox it and let's see what I got. It's a pretty big box. I selected the classic plan which comes with two recipes for two people, even though I'm just cooking for myself, but that way I'll have leftovers. And let's see, so on top is the recipe of the two, um, the two meals that I selected. So first is the chicken and cranberry currant pan sauce with scallion couscous and zucchini. So it looks like that. And then the instructions are on the back. And then the chicken enchilada verdes with Mexican cheese and hot sauce. So then it has a picture of what it should look like, the calories, the prep time, how long it should take you to make it, and then the instructions on the back. And then, welcome to the Fresh Fam. Look inside to learn how to create a pop-up holder. Oh, I guess this is like a holder for your recipes. And it has three tips for cooking. And then it says, always keep these on hand, salt, pepper, sugar, oil, and butter. So that's cool. And then also I do have a referral code. So if you um, do wanna try HelloFresh, just let me know and I can give you that code and you'll get a discount. I think it's like $40 off your first order. All right, so in this bag, is for the chicken and cranberry pan sauce. That. And then this is for the chicken enchilada verde. So I guess everything I need for that. And it's still pretty cold. Today. Um, they told me what time it was out for delivery. It was out at nine this morning. And I just picked it up around like 3.15 because my apartment, they were trying to figure out where my package was and all of that. And they had a lot of other packages. And there's something else in here. Oh, it's ice packs. Okay, so they have a lot of ice packs in here. I was wondering like, if it was gonna still be cold or not. But that's what I was worried about. So I like ran down there. But this is the chicken breast strips. And then boneless chicken breast. And that's everything. So there are three ice packs in here. I will show you all that. So you'll know what it looks like. So these are the ice packs. Recycle, cut a corner, and empty non toxic into the trash. Recycle plastic bags. Okay. So that is everything. And we're going to start cooking. Oh, what does it say? Unpack every delicious thing. Don't stop until you hit the bottom. Okay, so I did a poll on Instagram, and while I was waiting for the results, I set up the little recipe holder. And so the chicken enchiladas verdes won. So I just tried to go ahead and prep everything. So I have my mixing bowl, my poblano pepper, my scallions, my knife, my cutting board, pan, and then I have chicken breast strips, sour cream, Mexican cheese, tortillas, hot sauce, Southwest Spice Blend, Salsa Verde. So I have everything that it called for. The only thing that it didn't provide me with was salt and pepper, oil, and of course the utensils. So pretty much everything else they provided. So let's get it. Okay, so step number one, it says prepare the rack. So let's see, preheat the boiler. I'm just gonna heat it up later while I cut this. Wash and dry all produce, separate the scallions separate the white from the green so i'm gonna go ahead all right it's kind of an awkward angle but 
We're gonna make it work. So it says to wash and dry all the produce. So I just washed the poblano pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the scallions to take them out of this wrapper. and just drying them with paper towel. <laughs> okay. So I've never cut a poblano pepper before, so I don't know how to really do this. I wish I could do a better angle. Okay. Poblano pepper. I don't even know how to cut this y'all. Half and core in DC. this is chives and this is like whatever the scallions i separated the green from the white here we are and then step number two is make crema in a small bowl small bowl combine the sour cream and hot sauce to taste start in a teaspoon of water at a time until mixture reaches a drizzling consistency season with salt and pepper all right <music> this in the fridge because it does have sour cream in it. All right, moving on to step number three. Heat a drizzle of oil in a large oven proof pan or medium high heat. Add poblano and season with salt and pepper. So I just have a regular pan. I have it. And okay, I just realized what they were saying. Preheat boiler to higher oven to 500 because they want me to put the pan in the oven. Okay, it broke this, so I'm making messes already. But my pan can't go in the oven because I do not have a cast iron pan. So I'm just going to do what it says at this step and place enchiladas on a baking dish and do it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and preheat this. Okay, so I sprayed my pan with olive oil and it says to cook these for about five to seven minutes and to season with salt and pepper. So I have my salt and pepper here. I'm just going to let these cook. All right. While that's cooking, it says, meanwhile, place chicken in a medium bowl chicken mixture between tortillas roll up tortillas place in my seam sides down in a pan used to cook the filling top with remaining salsa and sprinkle with cheese 
I'm gonna go ahead and wash these pans. Well, really, it's just one pan in the bowl. All right, so while we wait, I'm gonna give y'all a review of the recipe card. So, let's see swap lime juice for water in step two. If I wanted to make the crema have a little extra punch, it tells me exactly what I'm gonna need that it didn't come with. All the steps, the ingredients for two people or for four people. I got the one for two how to fully cook the chicken, also what wine this meal would pair really good with, and then also an additional recipe, buenos nachos. Next time, try layering the chicken mixture with tortilla chips for the next level nacho bake. So yeah, and then here we are again, all the ingredients that it included. Prep time was five minutes, total to cook it 30, calories 770. All right, so the final step was to drizzle the cream and sprinkle with scallion greens. So here I have the cream and the scallion greens, and this is what it looked like straight out of the oven. I didn't want to keep it in there too long because I don't want my tortillas to be super hard. So there's that. All right, and the finished product is... <laughs> so obviously, I don't know how to drizzle anything. All right, and we're back where we started. So I started cooking at 410 and I finished at 445. So that is 30 minutes and I was vlogging and everything. So they're spot on with that. So I have two enchiladas here. I already tried the chicken, it was really good. <laughs> This is really good. No boost. And I really don't even like homemade enchiladas. Bro. This is good, y'all. Wow. And it was like really quick and easy. Thank you for tuning in to Chili Alexis. Make sure that you subscribe, comment down below, and also hit the bell for notifications.